Today, we're doing a feel good full body workout that is of course safe for both pregnancy and postpartum. I am gonna use optional dumbbells. I'm gonna use a couple of three pounds and 10 pound dumbbells. If you don't have dumbbells, you don't need weights, you can do the moves with water bottles or no weights at all. We're gonna do cardio to get those endorphins going. We're gonna do some fun moves with the dumbbells and then we're gonna finish off with a really feel good stretch. This video is part of the September workout plan. I'm gonna to link to that below and every month I'm gonna put out new workout plans. Subscribe and hit the notification bell. Release, I'm gonna set the timer now for 45 seconds and move up with 15 seconds between. If you wanted to grab your dumbbells or your water bottles, you can, but you don't have to use them. Remember, when we are doing the hard part of any move, we're gonna exhale and engage our core. We're gonna start with some punches. We can do uppercut, uppercut, punch, punch. If you have weights, you can punch lower if that's more comfortable for you as well. Soft knees, exhale as you punch. We're gonna squat down, reach, keeping our shoulders and chest high, and then up on our toes.
we squat down, we can step out, palms forward. Moving with resistance. We're going to turn our hips, punch, side kick, and punch down if your weight is a little bit heavier. We can come on up. Let's find a bent leg on our left leg, right hand up, and then we're going to exhale, engage, leg to arm, or you can bring elbow to knee, whatever feels better for you. Going as fast, as slow as feels safe for you.
exhale. Last one, release, let's place the weights down. If you can find a wall, you can either do a downward dog or find a wall and stretch down. Let's move our hips back and forth. And let's grab a sip of water. If you're gonna grab your heavier dumbbell, you can now. We're gonna hold each end. We're gonna squat down, keeping your ribs pulled in, halo around. If that doesn't feel good, you can just do the squat and press or just the squat alone. Going the other way. Take our weight in one hand now. We're gonna lunge, press it up, exhale, knee up as we curl. Take a breath. There's two options for our next pose. So we can either take a lunge and row from here, or we can go into an airplane pose and row from here.
scapula moves back using your back muscles. Amazing, let's switch to the other side. Again, feel free to set up in a lunge here or for an extra challenge, airplane position. Elbow pointing straight back. Release, let's shake it out. We can place our weight down on the ground. Let's make our way to all fours. Moving in to cat pose, let's round out, pressing in to your palms, rounding out. You can get a little bit of a wiggle, move into any spaces of tension. Coming back through neutral spine, tipping your tailbone up. Exhale, cat. Inhale, slight arch, keeping your core engaged or if you're pregnant, your baby pulled in. Coming back to neutral spine, let's take some feel good hip circles. Going both ways. Good, coming back to neutral spine. I'm gonna give two options here. We can stretch out through the glutes. You can simply sit back and feel a nice stretch here, or you can cross one leg over and then sit back more into a cow stretch. Wherever you are, breathing. Gently release. Coming back to your all four position. Simply sitting back on one side or crossing the other leg behind. Release a little bit more. Good. Moving back to all fours, we can come up to our knees. Let's open up through our chest, keeping your ribs pulled in, clasping your hands or elbows, opening up through your chest, external rotation of your upper arms. Hands are lifting up a little bit for a deeper stretch. Release. Rounding out the other way. Exhale. Good. We can come up onto our knees for a lunge now. If you wanted to fold up your mat, if your back knee gets sore, you can. Shifting your hips forward, tucking your tailbone under. You can stay high here, or if it feels good, you can also Go down onto your elbows or your hands. Okay. 
If your hands are down, come on up. We're gonna stretch through our quad now. You can bend your back knee, reaching for your back foot. If this doesn't feel good in a lunge position, you can also stand up and just stretch through your quad. Slowly releasing your foot. Let's shift our hips back, flex our front foot. Slight hamstring stretch. Stretching should never be painful, especially if you're pregnant. Make sure not to overstretch. We can come up. We're going to shift our hips to face the front, reaching down towards the ground. You can place your hands, or if it feels good, even your elbows on the ground, and then drop your hip of the leg that's out. Steady breaths. Good. Let's come on up. We can switch to the other side. Shifting in to our lunge. Moving in to your quad stretch. If it helps, you can move that front foot a little bit back. You also don't have to be in a really deep lunge here. You can come out and still get a good quad stretch. Slowly releasing, gently stretching the back of the leg. Hinging right at the hips, not rounding out through your back. Come on up. So you can just turn and open up through your hips. I'm gonna turn around. Releasing here. Exhale, engage your core, let's come on up. We can come it down to a seated position. Let's bring our legs apart. Just moving back and forth. Exhale, bringing our feet together, letting our knees flop out. Stay tall or fold forward. Good, on your next inhale, come on up. 
I hope that you're feeling good and a little bit more energetic after that class. You did amazing not only here, but you're just doing an amazing job as a mother. You're taking time to take care of yourself and it's really hard to be a mom, whether you're pregnant or postpartum or your kids are older. Even though there's so much joy, it is also exhausting but they are or they can see you taking care of yourself and that is gonna be so inspiring for them. Moms work so hard and I just want you to know that I know how hard you're trying and how hard you're working. If you do have diastasis recti, I'm gonna to link to my video on how I healed my four finger diastasis recti gap. And I will also link to the September calendar in the description box below to get notified every time I put out a new video and to get the monthly workout plan, subscribe and hit the notification bell. 